Hey guys, so I wanted to give you some great tips on poinsettia flower care. So if we haven't met yet, it's nice to meet you. My name is Kelly Lehman and I'm the owner of Cranberry Fields Flower Farm here in Cranberry, New Jersey. And we like to give you guys lots of free, fun flower tips. So um, if you'd like, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll know whenever we have some new flower tips out. So here's my poinsettia. And these guys are native to um, countries in Central America, Mexico, and so they're a very arid plant. They enjoy dry temperatures and they enjoy um, soil that's not overly moist. So what happens a lot of times is people get a poinsettia and they start realizing that the leaves get all shriveled up and they look like this. And actually a lot of times when the leaves look like this, it's because they're being overwatered. So the trick to watering your poinsettia is to feel the soil with your finger. You just kind of reach in here, feel the soil. And if you feel like it's moist to the touch, then you should add some water. If it feels like it's very moist and it feels like it's wet, do not water it because the leaves will start to fall off because it's getting overwatered. Um, now this guy, the reason why his leaves were falling off is because I actually have something uh, that's the beginning of root rot. And what happens with root rot is it means that I didn't properly drain the bottom of this plant. So most people during the holidays, they get uh, poinsettias in these festive pots and they're, you know, they have the foil on them. The problem is when you water these, the water gets trapped on the bottom and it's really bad for the roots. And once the root system gets messed up from root rot, it prevents the water from being uh, delivered up to the leaves. So right now, these roots have been sitting in a lot of water. So it got very, very, um, it got damaged and that's why my leaves started falling off. So I'm gonna fix that. Now that the holidays are over, what I did was I found a different pot to transfer them into. So I found this pot, but this pot doesn't have a good drainage system either. So to fix that, I added some pebbles. So I went outside and I just took some pebbles from a walkway that I had and I added probably about a cup or two. So this way, when I do water this plant, it's gonna have a little drainage system going on so the plant will not sit directly inside the water. So when it does come time to water these, what I'm gonna do uh, is bring it to the sink. And when you're transplanting these, as well as any flower, what you're gonna do is break up the root system. Right now, these roots are really, really tight. They're all, they all kind of grew together and I need to kind of loosen them up a bit. So I'm gonna loosen these guys up because sometimes this is almost like, it almost feels like a rock. It, it gets so tight together and then the roots can't do their job, which is to bring the water to the rest of the plant. So I'm kind of loosening up the roots and I'm gonna give it some water. Actually, I'm gonna do this. This is gonna be a little bit less uh, disastrous here. I'm gonna take a mason jar with some water. I'm gonna add some water here. and I'm gonna let it kind of drain out a bit. So to do that, I'm gonna remove the foil because this pot does actually have some holes in the bottom. So I'm gonna let this kind of absorb the water. Now I have a nice moist soil. It's kind of draining out. So I'm gonna lift it gently. I have one of these automated sinks that go off automatically and it makes me kind of nutty. That's why it keeps going off like that. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna loosen up the roots one more time and I'm gonna place it in the new container. And I'm actually probably gonna add a little more soil to this guy uh, when I'm done with this video because it needs a little more support. So now you guys know how to water a poinsettia. Once again, you're gonna feel to see if the soil feels like it's moist or not. If it feels moist, leave it alone. If it's starting to dry out, you're gonna give it a little bit of water, make sure the water drains out and make sure the roots have a good drainage system. And poinsettias, once again, they like a really warm tropical climate. So you're gonna put it uh, next to a window that gets a lot of sun. And you're gonna make sure that you don't put it too close to the window because sometimes in the winter, um, the plants will get a draft or it'll actually start touching the window pane and it will get really cold on those really frosty nights. So you wanna make sure it gets enough sunlight, but it doesn't get too much draft. Uh, from the outside. So keep it in a very sunny place and uh, your poinsettia plants should last a really long time that way. So enjoy uh, the rest of your day and if you'd like to join us again, uh, please check us out uh, on our blog at cranberryfields.com and we'll put the links in the description. We also have an Instagram and we have a Facebook page. Have a great day everybody.